you're looking at that heart-stopping video. Horrifying circus accident. Those performers plunging more than 30 feet to the ground during a stunt that went terribly wrong. It's stunning that they all all survived. Thank goodness for that. One of the injured performers, Samantha Pitar, just out of the hospital, is speaking out for the first time with us this morning in an ABC News exclusive. We begin with the latest on the investigation. It's the heart-stopping moment when whimsy turned to terror. Eight female acrobats hanging by their hair at the Ringling Brothers Circus performance in Rhode Island on Sunday, plunging 35 feet to the ground after a clamp failed. The 350-pound chandelier crashing down on them. We ask that you please enjoy this intermission at this time while we situate ourselves during this accident. Thank you. Nearly 4,000 audience members, many of them children, watched in horror. Incredibly, all the performers survived. One of them, Samantha Petard from Illinois, seen here in the formation has been with Ringling Brothers since 2012. This morning, as she and her fellow Harrielists recover, the investigation into the failed clamp continues. And Samantha Pitar joins us now. Good morning, Samantha. First things first, how are you feeling? I'm a little bit sore this morning, but overall I'm feeling okay. So what exactly were your injuries? Um, I got a couple small fractures on my spine, which I actually really can't feel, so that's kind of nice. I got a cut on my head, so I got three stitches, and then I bit my tongue really hard when I came down, so my tongue's kind of messed up. Ooh, you sound okay. <laughs> How are your friends doing? They are all going to recover just fine. Um, they're all being taken care of really well, but everyone, thankfully, is expected to fully recover, which we are all incredibly, incredibly happy about. Um, everybody's been in such good spirits, so. That is great news. So, so take us back to that moment. Any sense at all that day that something was wrong? Absolutely not. We did our normal thing. It was just like a normal day. I mean, we've done the show hundreds of times. We, there's a big, um, we go inside a big curtain that will eventually drop to reveal us all hanging up there, all eight of us hanging by our hair. We went in, got connected up, everything was just like any normal show. And um, The curtain went down yes, and you the, all went down too? The curtain went down and we got to about the third leg position, hear a huge popping noise and then just plummet to the ground. So the next thing you know, you're on the ground. What did you see? What did you hear? What did you feel? Once I caught my breath, I was actually, I landed sitting up. And I was looking around just to see if I could tell how the other girls were. And um, the paramedics were like, you need to lay down right now. And I'm like, I think I'm OK. And they're like, no, just lay down. So I laid down. And What could you tell about the others? I was asking. I asked is everybody alive? And they were able to tell me, yes, everybody is alive, everybody is conscious, which is incredible. Like, I don't know how. Somebody was watching over us, for sure. Nothing like this has ever happened before, right? No, I mean, we've been practicing this act since last year. Our troop leader is huge on safety huge like that is his top priority so like we all feel very safe with him we all feel very safe in the troop and personally like you know I feel safe it's surprising to most of us that the steel clasp would break but your hair would hold out what is the secret to your strong hair we have to take really, really, really good care of it. Um, use really nice shampoo, take lots of vitamins, eat healthy. You also just have to have the right hair, the right thickness, the right strength. Um, the big thing is to take good care of it. You can't dye it, you can't um, use product in it, you can't blow dry it, you can't straighten it. Like It has to just be natural. You'll be going back in the air? Yes. Now, I mean, for now, it'll be a while and it's not sure if, you know, any of us will be doing hair again. So I will eventually, not sure when yet, eventually go back to the show. For the time being, 
I'm going to be staying here with all my girls. We're so it's glad kind of you're doing right better now. this morning and please give our best uh, to all your girls. Oh, I will. I'm going to go visit them in just in a few hours. Thanks a lot, Samantha. Thank you. It's just amazing how well I she's know. doing. I know. I know she looks great and the way she's talking and going to go see all of her friends. Yeah. So we hope they all do make a full mm -hmm. recovery.